So, you know that Fontus self-filling solar-powered water bottle thing? The one which, if they were operating at 100% efficiency, you know, basically operating at the thermodynamic limit, can only generate about one litre of water in about a week. Well, it looks like they have every confidence in their project. I mean, it's all there on their third of a million dollar crowdfunding page. It is explicitly pointed out that products which serve as perks are in the developmental phase. It cannot be excluded that during the development phase, technical, <coughs> you know, like it's thermodynamically impossible, economic or other circumstances arise which may result in, one, the delay of the delivery of the perk, or two, the production and delivery of the perk in a different form as it regards functionality and or design, or three, even non-production of the perk. In the latter case, there will be no perk delivered to the contributor. Contributions will not be refunded. By making a contribution, the contributors explicitly acknowledge the risks associated with the occurrence of one of the aforementioned events. And while their video confidently claims to have solved the problems of getting water from the air, meaning you will never again have to carry water. Pontus is a self-filling water bottle that allows you to plan your adventures without having to worry about heavy water loads or where to find the next river or the next gas station. The words of their crowdfunding page are not quite so confident. We cannot guarantee that Fontus will deliver a constant water output in all conditions and may produce little or no water at all under some conditions. If you're an adventurer, you know the anxiety that comes with running out of water in the middle of a tour. We cannot guarantee that Fontus will deliver a constant water output in all conditions. The last thing you want is dehydration when you're miles away from home. And may produce little or no water at all under some conditions. And they have the gall to advertise this on their crowdfunder page as you need to plan a trip around water resources. But honestly, the little or no water thing is probably about right. Some back of the envelope calculations for this thing running at room temperature is it will lose about half of its efficiency at 50% humidity and won't work at all below 25% humidity. To make things even better, the Fontus Aero ran on a solar panel about 1,000 square centimeters. And with that, you would get about one liter of water in a week. The ride solar panels, I never really realized this because I didn't see the solar panels were so small. Yeah, that's going to be them there on the side. And at that point, you just got to say, dumbest design ever. Look, trust me, running a Peltier device, that's the solid state cooler that dehumidifies the air, takes the lion's share of the power. So for now, for the ride, they're planning to use, rather than a thousand square centimeter solar panel, about 30 square centimeters. And that would be assuming that the panel is well positioned for the sunlight. Because at best, the sunlight can only hit one side of this device. So immediately, there goes half of your power. And that's in a best case scenario. If you're heading into the sun or away from it, this device will generate no power whatsoever. So yeah, here's an even better idea. Let's position the device between our legs so it gets no direct sunlight at all. I mean, that really seems like this a brilliant idea that we'll get a design award from an engineering firm for being so damn clever. And our efforts have been rewarded already with several design awards. I mean, at this point, you would be mind blowing, mind blowingly optimistic to think you would get a liter of water out of this thing in a month. Yeah, right, no need to plan your trip around water. I mean, that really has put this thing in the same category as chocolate frying pans and dehydrated water. Which is maybe, just maybe, why they don't yet have a working prototype despite having a working one in their video. Hell, truth be known, my water from air device is probably just as effective as theirs. And the research costs for this were, Everything included, the heat sinks, the power supplies, the, the fans, the pelty effect devices, the balance, the clamp stands, the shock glass, about $300. I didn't need $300,000 to work this out. 
And honestly, I didn't even need to do the demo because I could do the thermodynamic calculations. And hell, a quick phone call from them to anyone who could do the most rudimentary thermodynamics calculations would have told them off the bat that trying to pull water out of the air has never been done before because energetically, it's just a stupidly expensive way of getting water. Naturally, they're a designer, an artist. We've been working on Fontus for a couple of years now here at the University of Applied Arts in Vienna. When someone in his comment section linked him to the thermodynamic arguments, started spamming this. The mentioned video is a self-promotion. You can see that at the end. What you mean like after I show the thermodynamically the claims you're making are complete bullcrap. Most of the statements are not accurate. The thermal core setup is vastly different than the oversimplified animation shown in our video. They serve only illustrative purposes. They don't show the exact technological details. Oh, really? Because honestly, it looks like my uh, research efforts, which took less than an afternoon, were every bit as complicated as your vastly different and vastly more complicated thermal core. Yeah, that's the picture of their research from their crowdfunder page. Either way, the most telling thing is in none of his replies, none of them, does he come up with a single demonstrable error in my video annihilating his claims about this device. 